Welcome back to this little island. Turns out there is a temple here, which you will not at all be surprised by if you look at the map. <laughs> There's a huge X on it. I, I wonder where it is. <laughs> well, that was just to remind me where the hole was, which is under a tree, which is pretty obvious to remember. Yeah. Hey, I don't like it. Hey, this is the sun go Well, now he has a broken leg. On top of being abandoned by his father. Boy, he really hated us. <laughs> He's exploring a different thing now, kid. I was wondering why my first and last name was never love. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was an old English term, but apparently my dad's last name was Smith. <laughs> It's also weird that I have this uh, completely different first and last name from my phone. There it is, we saw that door a long time ago. <sighs> Finally, we can make our staircase up to the sun and turn it off. <laughs> it's been on for too long, it's wasting energy. <laughs> Come on, let's just freeze. I'm sad they don't go nin -nin. <laughs> they didn't want to render the devil noise. <laughs> Steal from your grandpa. <laughs> Pizza Show says, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> S somewhere around there. <laughs> I'll know what that smudge is meant to mean. It does not mean oil spill. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, remember, I'll remember if I want to strike it rich by taking a dip. <laughs> I, was, I was supposed to roll into a tree. I somehow missed. <laughs> so I can tell that statue is facing towards the temple. Just making a note in case it matters. The only thing that matters right now is killing that crow. Yeah, that would be high priority for me, too. God damn it. Bastard. They look so doofy. <laughs> and the tree bursts into flames. And the child dies, I'm assuming. It's nice on the map you can actually see the path of the light. Might be a little hard to see with the... God damn it, not these guys again. Oh, I stunned them both. Ooh. Fall in the water. Go back to where you live. <laughs> that would actually be really cool. Yeah, this ain't Breath of the Wild. <laughs> <laughs> Where when you start the game, you encounter an enemy, it's like, oh, I'll, I'll fight him, one hit. Wow, I can't breathe or live. <laughs> that was the most surprising thing to be. I was like, oh, they really meant it. Like, no, we will kill you if you don't pay attention. Go and just need to find the other statue. Or just smack him with the boomerang. <laughs> I was hoping it would explode or something. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping the lights would keep lighting through that door and into the temple and the temple catches fire. <laughs> yeah. Or you walk between them and catch fire. <laughs> He's just like, ah, oh, this is what it feels like to be an ant. Ah, I've been bleeding the whole time I came here. <laughs> Pretty courageous, don't you think? <laughs> I'm getting infected. <laughs> Courage? You know, being courageous? Stupidity? I mean, that's almost <laughs> the same thing, like... 
I've done this song and dance before already. <laughs> looks at the looks at the Triforce on his hand. Yep, still stupid. <laughs> so you can probably actually see there was a wall I could have bombed. The tile underneath looked different. I somehow missed it until well after I beat the dungeon. <laughs> Look, it's right there, you can see it. <laughs> it happens. Wait, where do I go from here? Now, it's been a while since I recorded this footage. It's been a while since I last remembered anything about this dungeon, but most of the dungeons aren't hard. I don't think this dungeon's very hard. Oh, these. They look cute. <laughs> you could probably eat them. <laughs> Can I just say I really fucking hate caterpillars? <laughs> <laughs> just... But what about caterpie? <laughs> Sorry, I actually like <laughs> I actually like caterpillars. I meant to say centipedes. Okay. But what about Weedle? <laughs> I'll kick it if I see it. Are you kidding me? I don't want it to poison me. I said caterpillar by accident. <laughs> centipede. Because I, I kill centipedes, but I've never seen a caterpillar that I wanted to murder in my life. Or in general. Or in recent memory. Maybe as a child. Yeah, like I remember, I think in the first grade, we had like one of those, uh, you know, like how some classrooms would have like oh yeah we have our pet gerbil or stuff like that like what we had instead was we had like uh, a little uh, butterfly cage thing and like we would like have little caterpillars and then we like we'd, we would raise them and then once they uh, became cocoons and grew into butterflies we let them go i remember that i'm disappointed the boomerang doesn't kill those things the zap balls <laughs> It is gross. <laughs> so make sure in the other room you hit the red switch and turn it blue, so that way you can, you can progress from here. Ah, the Pole's voice is back. And now I can actually scream at them. <laughs> uh, look, it made sense during the Famicom days. <laughs> Maybe. But not during the NES days. The change in hardware made the screens less viable. Yeah. <laughs> you just couldn't do it at all. <laughs> oh god, I destroyed this. I decapitated him. But it still comes out. Nah, he's just a jerk. Well, that time he just died. <laughs> <laughs> Here come the crystals. People who played this game are thinking, oh joy. <laughs> the best part of the Temple of the Ocean King, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't have to be a little rabbit to be annoyed by that. <laughs> <laughs> Just existing is enough to be like, oh, okay, all right. I hope there's more of them, because I have other instruments. <laughs> oh, boy. Fuck, should I get my harmonica? <laughs> <laughs> Let's sound off. Kill the Pole's voice. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it real quick. Make a le I'll make a straw had no history left commentary for ten seconds. Here we go. <laughs> God damn it. And of course the BMOs return. You can bomb them, they will come back after a bit. It's not a permadeath for them. And I might be doing this wrong. Earlier we saw a sign that told us what pattern to pull these. Oh, no, I got it. 
Okay, I'm back. I can't find it. I gave up. <laughs> well, at least we found the square jewel, so we just gotta take it back downstairs. One thing I like about the poles of voice in this game is they're very blob-like. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it goes for a pretty huge leap with its mouth. Yep. It exposes like a void. Like before, they were just little hoppy things. They just bumped into you. Interesting update there, Miyamoto. Now somewhere is the actual path written down on a tablet. I didn't find it, so I did this the hard way. <laughs> you took guess. Massive guesses. Lots of guesses. And I... Well, that guy helps. Because he has to be on solid ground to skitter over to me. But once he's gone, what do I do? <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember this. Hmm... So I know this much, which isn't that much. I can also use bombs. <laughs> Take a left, I think? And you just keep going left for a while, and then at one point you go up, I think. <laughs> Thank you. I'm right here. Oh, no. Now we just hope that it's up or down. Now that I've wasted all my bombs. Uh, at least for the most part you got it. Hey! Hey! Brute force. <laughs> Bow and arrow also adapts pretty well to a touchscreen. Incredibly unrecommended, by the way. <laughs> yeah, utterly. <laughs> like, do, don't, do not do what you see. Well, I mean, I just showed you the path, but... Yeah, I mean, okay, in, the, in that case, yeah. I mean, like, don't watch the Let's Play, forget about it, then play the game for yourself, <laughs> and then... You'll forget the path, but you'll remember the advice. <laughs> well, yeah, he said don't do that. But he didn't say to watch more Star Hat No videos, so I guess I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> I'll just let him know that I'm gonna unsubscribe on their most recent video. This isn't talking about anybody, by the way, no. in case anyone's wondering. <laughs> <laughs> We're just, uh, having a goof. Plus, it's like, I uh, remember, remember during Midnight Frogs when, like, we would upload a video, it's like, Oh, I was just about to unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, sure you were. You loser. I mean, if you think we're talking about you, <laughs> why are you watching our videos again? <laughs> if you think we're talking about you, uh, we are. <laughs> Schrodinger's blame. <laughs> I've already figured that out. <laughs> I wish you could just turn to the left and put the crystal- Oh, well, you're just an asshole, then, if you're just gonna ask for the advice now. Well, this is a gauntlet and a half. Oof. Your shield can block the rocks, but you have to be facing them. Still handy, though. I love that in the middle of the Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Ow. Yeah! <laughs> you know, I don't think there are any more Poles voice. Which is sad, I'm sitting here, waiting. No. Well, there's gotta be another one somewhere. We warned you about one. Forever. <laughs> We put- we programmed this one enemy, so you'll- <laughs> <laughs> Pizza Joe's a complex boy. 
He got very excited. That was a pretty, pretty courageous leap there, if I would say <laughs> so myself. We'll give him a seven on the dismount. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I appreciated it. It was impressive. No one would charge <laughs> willingly into the abyss like that. Damn. That's a two pizza show. Now it's good. That's the first one. <laughs> the first one was like, you were ready. The sequel's never as good. <laughs> Unless if it's Spirit Tracks. Yeah, the Spirit Tracks. Or list of sequels from games that I'm sure are better than the original. Super Metroid. <laughs> Mario 3. Yeah, but Mario 3 is good. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Pizza Joe, you're slipping. Bemos only dislikes smoke, I guess. Oh, <laughs> it turned so slowly, you were able to clear that anyways. Ah, oh, shit. <sighs> this is kind of fun. If you go back around, and you time it right, and you and you dodge the Bemos. <laughs> You can actually block this guy off. Don't let him go to the left. Make sure he's on the right side of the block. Because if he's on the left, you can't progress. <laughs> there. Then go back. And you pretty much just spend this entire corridor pushing him into a corner. <laughs> Physically, not socially. <laughs> he was like that anyway. <laughs> Just always pushing people back. <laughs> Grinding his own gears. I guess in a way you can see that as a metaphor for Beyblade and how it never caught up. <laughs> <laughs> I think they still make new anime. Therefore, it didn't catch on. <laughs> <laughs> they just make the cartoon. Damn it, I did it again. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the touchscreen walking thing. <laughs> Alright, a pizza joke, it's not a violin, it's a bow and arrow. That is more of a boomerang puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like how they try to trip you up just there by giving you a very easy puzzle. He'll be used to the bow and arrow. He's gonna think about it for a second and then. Oh. <laughs> I'm invisible. Wait, this one's got some tricks, I see. This one can bounce. <laughs> hey, wait, Pizza Joe! <laughs> <laughs> now we gotta turn that thing around first with the boomerang. There we go. Still need to get that chest in the middle, though. And right here, I notice it like, wait a minute. <laughs> Gotta spin it around that away. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. It radiates wisdom, even if the fairy doesn't pick up on it. <laughs> she has it, she can't detect it. <laughs> 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 I mean, if that was the last thing I heard before I died, <laughs> I would have just been like, what happened to me? Where did I go? <laughs> oh, 
Okay, I think this is actually pretty cool. This is pretty cool. We get to draw our own path. Once again. But this is a situation where we have to remember those arrow points that that sign earlier in the dungeon told us about. Yeah, vaguely swastika-ish, yeah. but whatever. <laughs> I mean, as much as you would like to draw Popeye, it would take so <laughs> long to get to the other side. Oh. Uh, oh. Take 1.5. <laughs> Of course, theoretically, you could just draw lines and stop, but why would you want to, you know? Yeah. It is a lot of waiting, this dungeon. <laughs> I can already see the cube ditching us. Oh, it came back. And it keeps going down the path if you keep it drawn. What is the boss for this dungeon? Dude, I already did that. <laughs> Alright, I don't see what that has to do with courage, but okay. It feels like more of a wisdom thing, frankly. <laughs> Oops. I'm going back to the entrance, because there's still some stuff I want to find. Oh. <laughs> that would have been me if I was playing like it. Ah, shit. I gotta wait an extra ten seconds. Like, right there, I finally noticed the tiles on the ground. God damn you. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciated it. <laughs> Trying to rectify it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I would have done the same thing. And also... There's that one little island we can't reach. That's because there's an invisible path to it. Right in the middle. And then there's that, which I just completely walked right past. That gives you the path through the invisible floor. <laughs> <laughs> or you could just be like Thorn and completely luck out. <laughs> I feel like that's more courageous, me doing it on my yeah, own. Yeah, honestly, it actually really is. Some could argue that's a little more wisdomy, but still. It's a, it's a mix of both. Alright, now let's take on the boss. And of course, there's a treasure chest in that room, which I have to come back for later. <laughs> I feel like if I remember correctly. This is kind of a cool boss. Not what I was expecting, I'll be honest. No, not really. But it is one of the rare bosses where we actually get its point of view. And that's all we have to rely on to fight it. I think that's really cool because it, it just would imply that, uh... Pizza Joe's instincts are crazy good. <laughs> yeah. So once he's rolling around, we need to shoot those pus bubbles off his shell, whatever that is. I see you killing my children. I wanted to do that. <laughs> I'm tired of the noise they make. <laughs> Does the sword work, or is it just arrows? Just arrows right now. Now the sword will work. Ah, uh, okay. I think. Only if you hit him in the... whatever the fuck is that? The door dongle. <laughs> I guess door stopper is the correct term, but... <laughs> oh no, not my door stopper ass! Luckily that only did a quarter art of damage. Yeah, despite the fact that you were in the pincers of it. 
that it was strangling you and it did almost nothing. There we go. Yep. Just use the arrow to distract him and then hit him in the tail with your sword. Thanks for the arrows! <laughs> Didn't even grab me that time, just flicked me. <laughs> oh, he just needed one more. You know, not exactly what I was expecting for a, a temple like this. No. I do like the little gimmick, though. Kind of a cool boss. <laughs> it's the courageous temple. I, I put a crab, scorpion, whatever. <laughs> Hermit crab lollipop. <laughs> Look, my daughter drew this one. Just put it in there. It's her <laughs> birthday. She's only three. She can already draw better than I can. <laughs> Disney. <laughs> Drops the hourglass and starts counting. <laughs> All right, Spirit of Courage. Who's our new buddy? And she just leaves us. Just, well, that's fair. Ah. Huh. Would have thought it would have been green and not Celia colored. <laughs> Uh, she's drunk. <laughs> Pizza just like, <laughs> great, I have two now. <laughs> great. I succeeded. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> you can find the ghost ship, I guess. You can find the ghost ship? Shh, don't wake her up. She's so tired. Oh, find the ghost ship? The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Just strangling the wolf here. Find the ghost ship! <laughs> go! Go! Throws. Yeah. But before we go, that treasure chest I missed. And that bomb I missed throwing. Ah, another courage gem. It makes sense it would be in this temple. Yeah. <laughs> but that was weird. Yeah, another one that looks just like our little companion here. Maybe her story arc's gonna kick in now. Maybe it's about time she had one. Yeah, because she's more or less just been a light Pizza Joe follows. <laughs> Remember that one joke I had for Ocarina of Time forever ago where it was just him trying to kill Navi, but he ended up saving the world a lot? Like, it's kind of like that, but for real. Yeah. <laughs> Pizza Joe's already gone through this song and dance. He doesn't need another friend. Yeah. <laughs> well, to be fair, the last friend he had was a boat. Well, the boat he could leave behind. He could yeah. escape the King of Ren Lions. <laughs> Unless he talked to him in the gossip store. Hey. Uh, yeah. You know. <laughs> no, I don't know. You said hey. <laughs> <laughs> you call for my attention. I just listed off into some rocks and I'm stuck. <laughs> you were right in front of the entrance to the Wind Temple. I can cruise. <laughs> Who told you to do that? <laughs> this fish man. This is about the fucking solitaire game, isn't it? If you're gonna fucking beat me. <laughs> But like, never let me do a rematch. I don't have to. The ocean does it for me. That's why you're cruising and drifting in the rocks. <laughs> then why are you mad at me? I didn't you do anything. To me about nothing. It's your fault. We lost Tetra too. <laughs> she listed into some rocks. <laughs> no, she didn't. <laughs> you put her under a big rock. It was a statue, but still. 
Where's she now? Oh, you lost her this time. <laughs> Get off my ass. I'm trying, okay? The ghost ship matters now. It didn't before. Hey. Fuck you. 